Wrath of the Machine has brought us lots and lots of fun and one especially challenging little puzzle that took several days to figure out but it has finally been solved thanks to Datto so credit to him for this but this is a guide on how to get the fifth monitor in Wrath of the Machine Raid so of course you're going to need to get all of the monitors prior to this if you do need a guide to the other monitors I will have links in the description for the video with all of those monitors in it so the first thing you are going to want to do is head down into the server area and kill all the enemies and then make your way to this room once we arrive you'll want to pay attention to the fact that this big room is separated into four separate sections numbered from zero to three so there's four sections but they're numbered from zero to three as noted by the writings on the wall that you can obviously see essentially you want to assign one of your fire team members a specific section numbered from zero to three and what we need to do is we need to have each of those members stand on a specific canister in their section so what you're seeing here is an image of the correct canisters that need to be stood on for the next step to activate each of these circles represent a canister and the filled in circles represent the one that needs to be stood on so if we take a look at the canisters you'll notice that each of the columns are numbered from 0 to 5 if you paid attention in math class you'll remember columns are up and down and rows are left and right so now we have our columns well how do we determine our rows well if you start at the section closest to the bridge that you're standing on that's going to be row 0 and this is basically how you determine what to stand on so right now I'm going to go ahead and jump on to three zero that means it's the third column and the first in the row here so this is three zero that I'm standing on right now and just for clarification I'm gonna go ahead and jump to two two this is going to be column two row two remember the first one is zero and I'm sure you're thinking why can't you just call that one one or two or three well when you're dealing with binary you don't want to exclude zeros it's just going to add further confusion I went ahead and I had my friend ragman jump onto one of them so I could test out and make sure that he understood what I was saying I recommend you do the exact same with your fire team call it a random position something like two three or three four just something to make sure that your team knows what's going on so once your team understands the order of columns and rows they can go ahead and stand on them like the picture shows to activate the first step so for example if we look in the top left of the screen we'll see that the left top left section is zero zero section zero so you want to go ahead and have your section zero person stand on two two and then you'll have your section one person stand on one two so on and so forth until you get to the final one and once everyone has stood on their canisters for the appropriate amount of time you will hear a confirmation noise now it's not extremely noticeable but if your fire team members are being quiet it is obviously noticeable hum shabaling dong and once you have heard that confirmation noise that means that the two computer monitors in the server farm are now activatable so you'll then need to have all of your jumpers jump back to the bridge and then you and your buddy can head back to the server farm to help call out the next order that you need to stand on to open the large pyramid you and your buddy don't need to do anything special but know a bit of binary if you don't know binary you're gonna have to return to orbit learn binary and come back in and do this entire thing again alternatively you can use this picture which I will also place at a later position in the video so you don't have to keep coming back and forth so next make sure you know your left from your right and go back to the entrance of the server farm there are two computer monitors in this room there's one on the left and one on the right the one on the left is going to display the position of the column the one on the right is going to display the row number but it's going to be in binary hence that picture I posted a second ago what you'll need to do is go over and activate the monitors once you do it's going to display some binary digits in the bottom right of the screen you'll need to convert that into an actual number so you can know what to tell the rest of your team 
If your partner doesn't want to pull up a binary code sheet, then he can just tell you his numbers. So once we activate it, you'll see that the numbers that appear on my screen are 0010. In binary, that equals out to the number 2. So that's my column number. So I'm going to ask my screen buddy what his numbers are, and then we can relay that back to the jump team. So let's say that my friend told me the numbers 0011. That's going to be the decimal number of 3. So in the pyramid room, starting with section 0, we're going to tell our section 0 jumper to jump on the 2, 3 canister because that's the numbers we got from the computer monitors. So our jumper will jump to his pillar and he will stay there and then the computer monitor will change and reveal more numbers. And this will continue to happen until all four sections have the correct pillars stood on in the correct order. So in the pyramid room we start in section 0 and we go to section 1, then to section 2, then to section 3, counterclockwise from 0. That's the order you have to stand on the pillars. Just for some clarification, the second set of numbers that come from the monitor go to the second person in the order, which is going to be section 1 jumper. And you'll know when this is going correctly when the jumpers land on their plate and stand for a few seconds and it lights up blue. So once your team has correctly stood on the correct pillars, the pyramid is going to lift up to reveal the fifth monitor. And shabalaba ding dong, you're ready to go get that darn chest. There's also a chest in this little room, but I'm not going to show you what's in it because you should have something to be surprised about. And so if you have grabbed this monitor and all the monitors prior to this one in the same raid, you can jump down to this room that reveals after you kill the boss and you'll go down here, you will disable the final, 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 final laser grid system and you'll be able to go open the chest and get the exotic quest. And again, if you need the tutorial for the other monitors, that's going to be linked in the description. And if this video was helpful to you, I would really appreciate it if you helped me out by sharing it maybe to one of your friends or something just so they can know what's going on. And I will, of course, have a exotic quest guide as soon as it is available. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.